Okay, please. I, I, I'm, I'm sorry. Please, where am I? Where is this place? I'm bitchy. Who died? 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 Good morning, sir. Good morning, Yendi. How are you? Fine, sir. I'm, I'm sorry to bother you, sir. Please, um, I can't find my way. I don't even know where I am. Please, where is this place? Yeah, it's Ichi. Ichi? Ichi. Ichi. Sorry, sir. I'm sorry. Please, what part of the world is that? Um, it is now Amber State. Sorry? Amber State. Amber State. I gave you this boy by this, my boy. So, whatever I do, I will have the other. Now, this guy, this guy, cross from this guy. This place seems very different. Unlike Lagos, everywhere seems so braggy and this is very calm. Hey, customer, what do you want to buy? Mom, I'm, I'm sorry to bother you. It's just that I've been I've been working since morning and I've not eaten anything. My stomach hurts. I'm so hungry. I was just thinking maybe you could give me anything to eat. Okay, so what do you want to buy? I have edible stuff here. Mm, now, the thing is that. I don't have any money on me. I, I don't have any money to buy anything. I was just thinking you could, could have mercy and give me, even if it's bread and water. Bread and water? Yes. Okay, it's fine. Sit down. Thank you. Thank you. Bro. Thank you very much, Ma. Oh, thank you very much, Ma. Thank you, Ma. Thank you so much, Ma. Thank you, Ma. Thank <laughs> you. 
She's not like she's mad. Don't put on her now here. God have mercy. <sighs> Oh, yeah. I cost them a lot of how much is your pack? That's like 400. Okay. okay, the brush is one five. Okay. Do you want two of them? I actually need the sandy brush. Sandy packer. Ah. Our sandy packer has finished, but to come back, I will have to be in the shop by weekend. Yeah, so let me just give you this one. Ichi people are kind and hospitable. From the way that man and shop owner responded to me, I can tell that they are really nice people. They are fair and never hostile to strangers. Oh, Junior. I can't believe this. Mom. Dad. Oh God, why? God, why must you allow this happen? I can't even recount what just happened. It is said that avarice makes rich people want to become even richer. Now I have to beg for arms just to eat. God. I still ask, why must you allow this happen to the people I call family? Why? Hello, Anna. I'm going to go like 13 weeks. You can't be like, I'm going to go to the house. No, Anna. No, Anna. I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go to the house. never happened here in the community so you will not be the first to do it and i will i'm not in my presence let me go no please let me go ah! let me alone <laughs> Yes, Mom? Who the hell is that? 
I, I don't know, ma. Let, let me take a look. You don't know? You want to take a look? You don't know? I'm really sorry, ma'am. I'm really sorry. I'm really sorry. I'm really sorry. I'm really sorry. Hey, young lady! Who are you? What is it? Now, who the hell are you and what are you doing? Good morning, ma. Who are you? Nobody. Who is she? She speaks well, and she's got a voice, like an angel. No, angels don't wander the street. Now look at my hand. I've touched you, dirty, street look girl with my hand. Now you're listening to me. Whoever you are, I don't care. I didn't want to see you around my premises again. I want to get out! Please! Please. Can I get a hanky? Yes, you do not have. I'm a strong. You do not have any hanky. Thank you. 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 ケースにはケースにはもうこれでもここ。ビコンに。今ちょっとバーサナビコンに。え、なんかあったビコンのここのビコンの。え、なんかあったビコンのここのビコンの。え、なんかあったビコンのビコンの。え、なんかあったビコ
father in law, please come to my aid. Please come to my aid. Come. Becoming a medical doctor can never be actualized because of my present situation. I have never been this frustrated and confused in my entire life. Father Lord, please come and help me. But the kind of have been doing in the state university. I know I'll be a distinguished medical doctor. And I'm going to have my hospital all over the place. Okay, God's perfect for you, Amen, mommy. Thank you. You see, I, you've not told us why you want to be a medical doctor. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes. Yeah. Well, um, let's say, uh, because medical practitioners is life, and I would love to do that, baby. honestly. Wow. Good, good. A round of applause for our medical doctor. Okay. <laughs> 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 All the time, Junior is on his phone. The only thing he knows how to do in this house is eat food. And press his phone. And when I complain, everybody starts saying, I didn't do this, I didn't do that. I mommy can speak to yourself. What? Why are you looking at me? This is God that's his classroom. <laughs> Junior. No, you are jealous. Hey, mom. Um anyways, mom. Um... I have nursed the dream of becoming a medical doctor. But that dream has been truncated by that ugly incident. Will I ever forget that which happened that night? Oh, I saw everything happen before my very eyes. Oh God, this is not the kind of life I desired for myself. I used to have a happy family. We were just happy living a comfortable life of affluence until that black Wednesday. I never saw it coming. Neither did I envisage that a day like this would come. To the extent of me wandering the streets, homeless. Oh God. Oh God. Oh God.
This Irene of a girl has come to mess things up for me in my house. Just look at my son, he has refused to be responsible. Anyway, let's see how it goes. Good afternoon, ma'am. No, you're late. I'm going to the office. I do not want to see that dirty girl anywhere around my gate in my afternoon. Am I understood? Yes, ma'am. I know better than to disobey your instructions, ma'am. I will do as you say, ma'am. I'm glad you know. I'm very hungry and I don't know if you can help me with something to eat now, please, I beg you. Thank you, thank you so much, ma. Thank you, 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 ma. Thank What is she doing out here behind our couch? Let 
I'm not hurting you, okay? I'm sorry, sir. I, I knew I'm not supposed to be here. Please, I'm sorry. I will, I will go. I'm not going to go. I, I'm not going to hurt you. Okay? I'm just worried. What are you doing here? It's very dangerous out here. Something could happen to you. Sir. I don't have a home. What do you mean by you don't have a home? Okay, even if you don't have a home, why not go to a family friend's house or... or Where's your family? Where do they live? Go to your family house. Sir, I... I, I, I lost my family and since then I've been on the street. What exactly happened to your family? I can't, I can't explain. The thing is, I, 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 I lived in Lagos and with my family, all of a sudden, I, I told myself, I can't, I can't explain. I don't understand. You live in Lagos and then all of a sudden you, you found yourself in Ichi. How am I supposed to believe that? Are you okay? Is everything fine with you? Yeah. I, I, I will just leave. I promise I will not come back here again. I swear, please. I'm sorry. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. So you don't have anywhere to go to now? No. Okay. Yes, let's go inside. You can stay here. Now, what is all this? I thought you said it's almost here. Honestly, I hate this. I hate this. I'm supposed to be sleeping now. Go to the office first thing tomorrow morning. Hmm? This is my late father's house. Okay. So, she must be your mom. I, I mean, the woman that owns this house. Oh, you know her? Yes. She actually wants me never to come here again. Oh. If it's my mother, I, I, I totally understand. She's, she's just like that. But I will speak with her. Okay? Let's go inside. Come. Eh? Let's go inside. Oh, sir, please. I, 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 don't, I don't want trouble. No, I will just leave, please. Did you, did you hear what I said? She's my mother. I will speak with her. Okay? Come. You don't have to worry. Dad! Dad! Yeah. <laughs> 
Jack, how you doing? Thank you very much. Lied to me and your car broke down. Is that it? Will you please be patient and hear what I have to say? Please. Oh no! You didn't answer my question. My question is what is this? Betty! Straight! Girl doing in my dynasty. Well, I saw her outside our gate. And um, I told her to come in and stay with us. Because it's really dangerous out there. What was the thing I told you when I saw you earlier today? I'm asking you. Why are you staying home from me? Do this. Come on, Mom. I told you. What are you doing? Sit down on my couch. I want to get out. Okay. I, I, I am sorry. Okay? I'm sorry. And I'm also apologizing on her behalf. I'm sorry she flouted your orders. Okay, small. Look at her. She's homeless. Everything could happen to her outside there. All I'm asking is that you allow her to stay under our roof until she finds something to do. Yeah. You will never walk. This is what my father would have done if he was alive. It's a stain on my side. Oh God. For now, such pity, imbecile, in my dynasty. It's a stain. I will never allow it. Well, please. I'm begging you. Look at her. She could be your daughter. Think of her as your daughter, the daughter you never had. Please, I'm begging you. Please, Mom, please. What's that? You just reminded me that I do not have a daughter. Oh my God. That I just gave back to three sons. You've reminded your mother today that I couldn't give back to a daughter. That's not what I'm oh, just shut up! She can never, ever be my daughter. God forbid. How dare you?
Now I want you to remove this thing from those premises this minute. She stays, Mom. Don't push me, son. Don't you ever push me. If you disobey me, I swear I will disown you and disinherit you. You know me, right? You know what I can do. Take this thing out. This house is big enough to contain a hundred people. Please, let her stay. I promise you she would not bother you. You promise me? Yes, Mama. And I said no. She will never stay. This girl, she will never stay here. Okay. Let, let her stay in the boys' quarter. Please. What? I say let her stay in the boys' quarter. You're not listening, please. No. I said never. I will never know this place. Spend the night in the building. I know what you exactly what I said. Hey. You know that I love you too well, son. But believe me, if you do this, I will just want you. Listen to me. I will not let you go. I promise you, mm. I will protect you. Okay? So come. You need to have a bath. Okay? I will show you where you would sleep. Everything is fine. What's your name? Irene. Okay. That's good. My name is Ramsey. Oh, Uncle Ramsey, thank you so much. Thank you. You don't have to call me Uncle Ramsey. Ramsey is fine. Okay? Mm -hmm. Come, let me show you the bath.
ones where Ramsen kept. That thing he brought into my house. I hope that Tetetin is not in this dynasty. Insisting, I am begging. I am begging that you please let her stay. You haven't listened to me in a very long time, but I'm begging for just this once. I can't stand her outside there in the cold. Please, Mom. All right. Even if she must stay, not in my room. Not on my bed. She has to stay in the kitchen. Kitchen? What do you mean by kitchen? Do you want me to bother her outside? It's, it's fine. It's, it's, it's okay. It's okay. As long as she doesn't go out there in the cold, that's fine. Come, let's go. Hey, now you listen to me. If she must stay in this premises, I want you to know that she is staying on your own account. That's fine. Thank you, Mom. That's fine. That's fine, Mom. Thank you.
Give me a minute. Thank It's going to see enough for you. Okay, so thank you. I'm sorry. Thank you. has succeeded in scaring people away from this house. What my father never did when he was alive. If giving Irene a home is all I do in this lifetime, I will gladly do it. Because I know this is exactly what my father would have done if he were alive. Your mother is frustrating me in this house. I mean, she, she fails to understand the fact that I love my people and they love me too. These are people that welcomed me with open arms when I came all the way from Lagos searching for my roots. But now look at the way she's treating them. She doesn't want me to do anything with them at all. What is this? Uh, why is she acting this way? I mean, you know, sometimes I just feel there is more to this than with the eye. Why does she treat every itchy person I know with so much resentment? She acts like, like it's a taboo getting married to someone who's from itchy. I don't understand, I don't get it. Huh? She wants me to keep all the money I make in this family. Who does that? She forgets that these are the same people that make me what I am today. They stood by me during the elections. They won the election for me. Huh? I mean, if I don't treat them well, if I don't carry them along, and spend money on them, I would have failed them. How can I be that selfish? I hate to say this, Father, but my mother is very heartless. Very heartless. What do you expect? What do you expect from someone who does not pray? She doesn't go to church. She's not godly at all. She has never for one day 
gather the family and say, let us do morning devotion. Just like I know other wives and mothers do. She has never for one day suggested that. I don't know. Imagine what she did the other time. That was the height of it. Going to the extent of collecting money from Mama Nubu. Ah, no. Can you imagine? That was the height. That was the height. I was, I was, I was confounded. Hey! My happiness is that uh, you are just a replica of me in terms of attitude and the way we look at things. Okay? And I want you to keep that up. The reason is very simple. You must be very, very careful how you treat people on your way up. <laughs> because you don't know who you will meet on your way down. Huh? Even though I don't pray for those to come down. Alright? So I'm really happy with you. You have a good heart. Okay? I will never see that. Alright, so I'll get to the last point. Thank you. 
She has finally accepted me into this family. Oh, I mean, this is a sign that she has accepted me. Thank you, God. At least I've got a roof over my head.
does it mean mom has succeeded in throwing that poor girl out of this house? I begged her to let her stay. But no. Obviously, she didn't listen to me. Hi. Where do I go in search of her now? A girl I have plans on going to get some stops for? Now I cannot even find her. Ah, Mom, what's that voice? That's Irene. Yes? That's her voice. suggested to mom to give out to people. I personally wash these clothes using the washing machine. Why then should she subject Irene to such unnecessary task? Knowing fully well that these clothes are not dirty. Did you sleep well? Yes, I did. Sleep well? Hi, I think it's best. Yeah. Why is your face like that? Why? 
Why did you ask Irene to wash those clothes that you and I know have been washed? If I'm not mistaken, I went to give those clothes out. For crying out loud, why did you ask her to wash them again? So that's the reason. You came to my room with folded hands, asking me questions like you are my husband. Hmm? I want those clothes washed and manually. Manually, you say? Of course. Does it mean you no longer trust the efficiency of our laundry machine? to run my own home.
I hope this is mine. Of course, what do you expect? I made it. <laughs> How is it? So where are you off to? I'm coming just a moment, okay? So here, come. Come out here. Go. Let me get your the reference. Thank you. What is this? I'm asking. Hey, what's that your name? I don't know what. Mom, oh, Irene or whatever you called. Are you done washing the things I asked you to wash? Yes, ma'am. So, what are you doing here? Oh, 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 hold on, oh, hold on, please. You brought her to come and dine with me? As what? <laughs> Irene, are you a joker? Mom. Mom, please. Please what? Calm down, alright? She will continue with whatever she was doing after she's had breakfast. Please, I beg you. On the table? Please, I beg you, be nice. Hell no! You mean I should allow her to eat on the same dining with me? This basic trick, girl! Stop it already, Mom. Stop it. Stop it, I don't like it. Why are you being so overbearing? Why? This is the reason no house help has stayed here for one complete month. Oh, because of this God. attitude of yours. Mm -hmm. Allow her to have breakfast. And then later she will do whatever you want her to do. <laughs> and you think I, your mother, will allow her to sit and have breakfast? I'm the same dining with me! Hello? Have you gone delusional? Come on, you better wake up from your slumber! What is all this? And what are you still standing doing? Now get lost. I do not want to repeat myself. Good. It's really nice. The tears that she cries. Are you going to stand there? I wanna know, yeah. What have you gained? At the top of your mind. Deep down your soul. <laughs> Oh God! Where am I suffering this way? What am I doing to deserve this? Why is that this mom treating me the way she's treating me? God, why is all of this so sad? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry about the way my mom spoke. I apologize on her behalf. I want to die. I want to die. I want to die. I want to die. I know that life has not been fair to you. But that is not enough reason for you to wish death upon yourself. You've got to be strong. 
Like they say, only the strong survives. Ramsey, please, I beg you. Let me return back to the streets where I belong. I don't belong here. I will not let you do that. Irene, listen. Look, I want you to understand. This house belongs to my father. And when he was alive, he opened his door to everybody. To the less privileged, to the downtrodden, to the rich, to the poor, to anyone who wanted his help. I am following his footsteps. Okay? You're welcome here. I'm not chasing you out. I'm not going to let you get back into the street. Thank you so much. Thank you for your kind words. I promise I will not allow whatever your mom says to get to me. Good. We've got to be courageous, okay? When you're done with your child's eye, I left food for you in the kitchen. Thank you so much. You're welcome. I'm running late, I have to get to work, okay? Thank you. You won't cry again, right? No. Promise? Here to make sure you're not leaving about this dynasty. Am I not talking to someone? Yes, ma'am. Now, if you're done doing what you're doing right now, I need you to go upstairs, clean the whole restroom there, make sure they are sparkling clean. Then you come down, go outside to the premises, treat, effort. Flower in that premises, make sure they look good. Then you bend down and sweep the whole premises. Am I understood? Yes, ma'am. Rubbish. My tomato egg sauce for this animal. Well, my food is not for peasants. I'm going to come to the office a bit late today. That's because I have 
little things to tidy up in my house. Are you not listening? My friend, look for a way around this and stop stalking me. Incompetent fool. I'm, I'm, I'm done cleaning the toilet. What? You are done cleaning the toilet? Has it been up to five minutes? You interfere? Oh, I'm asking. Actually, my it's been more than twenty minutes. I I was oh. there. <clears throat> you are really checking time. I see. Accurate timekeeper. I'm done cleaning all the toilets in the other room. You are done? I beg your pardon? You are done? How? I mean, when? But the moment you gave the instruction, I, I, I started cleaning immediately. You are very lucky. I'm in a good mood. Else I would have given you a whole slap. So that you can fall on the floor and have epilepsy. Since you started checking already. Alright. Now go to the premises. Trim those flowers. After trimming, sweep everywhere. I want everywhere. Properly clean. I will show you the reason and cause, Margaret Thatcher.
That stupid girl thinks she can come from nowhere and for me to accept her in my late husband's dynasty. Who does that? I will make sure I frustrate her life and she will have no other choice than to return where she came from. I am hungry. As if my intestines wants to cut into pieces. <sighs> oh no, I can't continue. Ah, my stomach hurts. My lady locked the door on her way out. How? Uh, 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 how? Have you tried using the back door? Yes, I'm just coming from there now. I've tried opening it, but it's not opening. It's also locked? Yes, it's locked. Why would she lock the door when you're here? My stomach hurts. So you mean to say I can't go in? Outside. I've been doing this whole chose for her and yet she chose to lock me outside. Why is she using me? So that it's her food at least. It is very obvious I don't belong here. Maybe I should go back to the street where I belong. I mean, 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 I mean,
with her? And what is wrong with everyone in this house? I'm going back to the street where I belong. Don't talk that nonsense. Do not say that, okay? Irene, you do not belong to the streets. Whatever happened, we can talk about it. Let's go home, please. Your mother happened! It is your mother that is the reason why I'm here! Your mother happened! Let her breed. What did my mom do this time? <laughs> After subjecting me to the tedious job she asked me to do this morning, I decided to go inside and have something to eat. When I got to the door, I discovered she had locked up everywhere before leaving for the office this morning. I couldn't even go to the house, and then she asked me to clean half glasses and put everything, and then she wouldn't allow me to eat. Why? My mom just left for the office. Wait, it's fine. You don't have to answer that. Okay. I mean, I'm sorry. I am sorry about the way my mom treated you. But please, you can handle this in a better way. Let's go. Let's talk about this. Why are you finding it so difficult to understand this? Your mom does not want me in the house. She doesn't want me around. My face is irritated. How don't you understand this? Whether my mom likes it or not, you will stay in that house. As long as I'm concerned, you will stay in that house for as long as you want. Please, let us go home. I can see you're not feeling too well. Okay? Let's go home. You can't continue to roam in the streets. I beg you. What have you done? Had a stone. Had a
что Why don't you try your clothes? I mean, see the fit. Thank you, Sam. Alright, I'm coming. I am very sure I left a plate of tomato egg sauce here. Did mom eat it? Well, perhaps she used it. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Don't tell me this woman threw away the egg sauce. Knowing fully well that Irene is hungry. Goodness gracious God! But why? What does mom stand to gain by being so weak to people? Why? This is unbelievable. Why has my mother chosen to live this kind of wicked lifestyle? Where's her conscience for Christ's sake? Where? Mother, why would you do such a thing? What were you thinking? I should have left my door wide open for a total stranger. Is that it? But that's why we have Jack in this house! If you don't trust her enough to live in the house, then you tell Jack to watch her. That's why we have him here to cover everything. Oh, I didn't know that Jack has become a hawk organ. <laughs> You still haven't answered my question. Which is? Why did you throw the sauce away that I made for her? So, are you interrogating me now or what? After subjecting that girl to that torture by making her do all the chores in this house, you still do not allow her eat the food that I made for her. When is this car going to end? When is this nefarious attitude of yours going to end? You threw it away in the dustbin. Where is your heart? Why are you not compassionate, mother? Why are you doing this? When is all this going to end? Why are you so nefarious? Why did this to end? Oh, I actually sent you to school for you to go learn grammar. To start throwing it on me. Is that it? But I do not want that young lady in this house. Why are you deaf? This is not fair. Mother, I, I did not grow up knowing you like this. What happened to you? Where is your heart? Why are you doing this? This is not fair at all. Come on. What are you That girl was parabolating the streets. If not for my timely intervention, she would have not gone! You didn't do well. You should have allowed the young lady to want Oh her. my god! Hey! Now to the will the last time! You will hit your head on the chair! For your mother, don't you ever try it again. Are you insane? You're just a direct opposite of my father. Oh. 
Let his soul rest in peace. Now I call the shots. Here. What happened? Where's Jack? Why are you opening the gate? I don't know. I don't know if he's sleeping. I've actually looked for him. I can't find him. Okay. How are you? Fine, thank you. Good evening. My mom inside? Oh, yeah. She's inside. Have you had something to eat? Yes. I made food. Oh, really? What did you make? Why try some beef stew? I'm sure you like it. Please come and serve mine, huh? I'm very famished. Alright. All right. I'm here. So nice. Irene, please set the table. I'm very hungry. Alright, you so bad to eat you No, something about Kyrie coming back to the country. Oh, yeah. Um, I spoke to her over the phone today. Oh, and what did she say? Well, she says she's returning to she's returning to the country very soon from London. <laughs> I hope you are preparing for her return. Yes, I am. I'll do my best. Ah. <laughs> You're welcome, Sam. Thank you very much. Can you drop the spoon? Do this all the time. Her sight not only protects me. I'm telling you. She's just here because she has seen a fine boy. Otherwise, she would have been long gone. Erin is actually a very good girl. <laughs> you just need to take some time to know her better. Can we talk about? I mean, you cementing your relationship with Kyrie. I mean, getting married to her and giving me beautiful grandchildren. I cannot remember telling you that I do not want to get married. And I will not give you grandchildren. I did not ever say that. Could I at least get this food in one beat? Yeah. 
Do you want anything? No, uh, I just came to make sure everything's okay with you. Oh, thank you so much. As you can see, I'm fine. Yeah. I'm glad that, um, despite my mom's ill treatment towards you, you are still holding it strong. Well, I've decided never to give up, no matter how tough things become. And I have promised to be consistent, no matter what life throws at me. That's a powerful speech. You know, I've never said this to you before. I have not the dream of becoming a medical doctor and then own my own private hospital. And I've also promised to name that hospital after my late father, St. Matthew's Hospital. But as it is now, that dream has been shattered. No. That is not true. Your dream has not been shattered yet. Look, you can become whatever you choose to become. So I implore you to keep dreaming. Dream as big as you want. You can be anything you want to be. Ramsey, you and I know that that dream has been truncated. You know that. Irene, I have decided to send you to the university to study whatever course that you choose to study. What? Yes, so that dream has not been truncated yet. What? Start getting ready because you will write another jam. Prepare for extra moral classes. You are going to need it for these exams. Sir, are you sure about this? I am a hundred. I'm one percent sure. Thank, <laughs> yes. you. Thank, thank you so much. Thank you so much. I'm so, thank you so very much. I'm so happy. I'm so grateful. You're welcome. But your mom will not give consent to this. She will kick against it. I know that for sure. I mean. I make you a solemn promise that I will do by you what I have said today, no matter whose horse is God. Do you think your mom is going to allow me to leave the chores I'm doing in the South and go to the university? Do you know she won't accept? You know that I will never ever go back on my promises. If I say I'll do something, I'll do it no matter what. Not even my mom can stop me. Not even my mom will stop you. No matter the chairs she brings, it will not stop you from doing what I say you will do. I promise you. So child, be happy. Okay? Okay, sir. Is there anything else you want to say? No. Okay. Good night, okay? Alright, sir. Thank you so much. The tears that she cries. Oh, my dude, we come to pass. We come to pass. I don't know. She's gone. What do you mean by you do not know? You expect me to believe that you do not have a hand in her disappearance? Is that what you're telling me? 
I'm telling you that I came back two days ago and she was nowhere to be found in this house. Not just that. This thief stole my 5,000 US dollars and disappeared into thin air. Respect me to believe this. Respect me to believe the story of yours. I am going to ask you for the last time, mother. Where is Irene? Maybe you're not listening. I said, she's gone. She's no longer in this house. So let her breathe. Let her breathe. Since you're decided to frustrate me in this house, I will make this house a living daylight for you. I promise you. Until you provide that girl. Now you're not thinking of the young man. Don't you ever try to threaten me because of that's useless then. If you dare me, I swear, I will forget that I carried you in my womb for nine months and two weeks. You know, I will put you behind bars and allow you to walk in jail. 